Many piezometers are instruments used to measure hydraulic head, vertical or horizontal gradients, and they can be used to estimate the hydraulic conductivity. This is what the finished piezometer looks like. It is basically a scaled down version of the piezometers typically used in the field. Many piezometers are advantageous when working at shallow depths and when the site is difficult to access because they are small and lightweight. They are also great when working on a budget. The materials needed to construct a mini piezometer include tubing, a plug, mesh screen, and duct tape. The equipment required for construction includes a drill, scissors, tubing cutters, a marker, and in this case we use a sewing machine. The first thing you need to do is cut a piece of tubing to the appropriate length. Here we have a piece of polyethylene tubing cut to 1.5 meters long. The inner diameter is half an inch and the outer diameter is 5 eighths of an inch, but you can use different dimensions if you wish. Next we will mark on the tubing where we would like to drill the holes for the screen. In this case we want the screen, or the perforated region of the tubing, to be 5 inches long. First we will mark how far into the tubing the cork is going to fit. We don't want to drill holes on this side of the line. Here is five inches, and here is where we will drill the holes. We will put five holes on every quarter turn of the tubing for a total of 20 holes. The drill bit we are using is 9 64ths of an inch. When you're drilling holes, ensure you've secured the tubing so that it doesn't slip. It might help to drill in and out a couple of times so there's no pieces of tubing protruding out which might tear the mesh screen. So now we just have to slide the mesh screen on and place duct tape to seal on both ends. And here we have successfully constructed a mini piezometer.